Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make brains. Actually we're not going to make brains, but this glorious vegetable does kind of look like a brain. And interestingly enough, walnuts also look like little brains, and they're very good for your brain as well. We're actually going to make a taco meat out of this super nutritious vegetable known as cauliflower, which is a Nebraska family, which is also known as the cabbage family. Cauliflower is pretty cool. It has sulfur raffine in it, which is a really potent antioxidant and detoxifying compound that was found to be in broccoli sprouts, which is what kind of made broccoli sprouts famous. And I actually happen to be sprouting some right now. You can't really see what's going on in there yet, but I can see them poking out. And that's not all. This head of cauliflower right here has about 11 grams of protein. It has about 12 grams of fiber, which is 48% of your daily intake. And you might not eat this whole thing, but even if you just ate a fourth of this, that's about 12.5% of your daily fiber. A lot of vitamin C. One head of cauliflower has about 472% vitamin C. So you're definitely getting your daily recommendation just by eating a little bit. This has got even some calcium and magnesium in it, and it's high in potassium and folate as well. Now, I've soaked these overnight, and just looking at the water is one reason in itself to start soaking. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like I got this out of a bog. And the bottom of this is super, super brown. I can't even see anything. And it doesn't look very tasty. Here is the pecans, and these are, these are really little pieces. And that's how they came in this bag that I bought. So I've just not taken that extra step because you can see they're pretty small pieces where they'll blend really well with the cauliflower and the, the meaty texture that I'm going for. Next step, take my super insanely sharp knife here and I'm just going to remove the stem from the cauliflower because I don't want to blend this thing up. I have removed the majority of the cerebellum, I mean the cauliflower stem, from this. So it is ready to go. And this is just going to get easier and easier as we go. This recipe is super awesome. Super simple. I didn't get super insane, like even this little leaf here, it still looks good. I removed all the bulk of the, the stem in the brown, but even little bits of this is all going to get blended up. So there's no reason to get super anal about taking it all out. All I gotta do now is do my deadly chop, but I will save that for later and just cut down the half. And now we have two hemispheres. This is, it's amazing how this looks. And then I get two chunks like this big and I'm fine. I'm just gonna throw them in there. So I'll take half of this Cut it in half, and then each fourth, I'll cut that in half, and then I'm going to cut those into thirds, and those are going to be about the pieces the right size. And that just keeps it simple, just half, 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 and then little pieces. Now, I'm getting close to being at capacity, and I want to leave it definitely below the line so all the big chunks can fall into the blade. So I'll just go ahead and show you that so you can see what it looks like. So there we have about how full I'm going to place the cauliflower in my food processor. And there's different sizes, but you're not going to want it too full. And then all you have to do is a few times 
barely even have to get up to 10. And so now, you're going to see this later in the bowl, but there it is. It is down to a really good consistency. Now I'll take batch by batch and just place them in this bowl. And I'm not going to spatula this out just yet because I have some more cauliflower. There is my big bowl of cauliflower that is now cauliflower rice, which I will even turn, I'll use cauliflower to turn into rice for a lot of other recipes. It's a great rice for curry if you want a completely vegetable curry and you don't eat grains. It's great to add into soup to add some texture as well. Now this recipe is just a piece of cake. Super easy to remember. I'm gonna measure out four cups of cauliflower and I'm just going to, even if it's overflowing, that is fine with me, and place these four cups in this other bowl here. You could do a whole head of cauliflower, but then the, the flavor is going to go down a little bit because the measurements of the taco seasoning would be less. This recipe is for four cups of cauliflower and for one cup of the, the chosen nut that you use. And I'm just going to place that in there and then stir it up. So here is it mixed up very well with the pecans and you can see it's just got a nice consistency. Now I'm going to add two cloves of garlic, which I've already taken the peel off and cut them up in half. And you could just use your knife and chop, 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 and dice them into little pieces. I have this fancy little garlic press, and I'm just going to go like that. And it makes it super quick and super easy. And then I will just take a knife here and get it all in there. And now these measurements just continue to be super, super simple. I have some taco seasoning, which I made, and I'll give the, the ratios in the description of the video so you can make this yourself. You can also buy taco seasoning from a co-op or the grocery store if they have bulk, or you can even buy it in jars or packets if you want. I like to go with co-ops or um, places that sell bulk because the, the spices tend to be fresher than ones that have been on the shelf for a really long time in a glass jar. And this is just two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using hemp oil today because I'm out of olive oil, but I recommend olive oil for this recipe. However, any, any oil is really going to work. You're going to want something that's mild in flavor though, so it doesn't dominate the other flavor, flavors. You wouldn't want to use a tablespoon of sesame oil. You could do a teaspoon maybe of sesame and then a tablespoon and two teaspoons of another oil. The sesame has a really, really strong flavor. Same with coconut oil. I wouldn't I don't think I'd use coconut oil in this recipe because I wouldn't want the coconut flavor to stand out. And last is coconut aminos. And you could also use soy sauce or any of the other, other derivatives like tamari, namashoyu. So two tablespoons of coconut aminos, two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Super easy to remember two cloves of garlic. And then we just stir it all up. Here is the taco meat. You can see I've t stirred it so the color is nice and consistent. There are some big chunks of cauliflower that happened in the first time I didn't pulse very much, but that is not a big deal. It really isn't. 
Well, now we are done. That is how simple it is. You pulse your cauliflower into rice, put it into a big bowl, measure out the amount you're gonna use, and then you throw your nuts in there and your oil and seasoning, and you stir it up. And there would only be one more step in this if you didn't have the small pieces of pecans that I did. But all you have to do is take your nuts that you've soaked, rinse them, throw them into the food processor wet, and pulse them to get them down to small pieces, like the small pieces I showed you the pecans. You don't want it into a flour, so you're gonna wanna watch as you pulse it. That would be the only extra step. Now all we gotta do is either use the dehydrator or the oven. If you're gonna use the oven, you're gonna wanna take this mixture and spread it very evenly and thinly on a cooking sheet, just like granola, at 350. And then what's worked for me is 15, 15, 15. And I'll leave it in there for 15 minutes, pull it out and stir, just so everything is cooked evenly, and then put it back in, and then do that two more times total of 45 minutes and making sure to really stir it. And you're gonna to wanna to check your cookie sheet to make sure it's large enough that you can spread it all the way across so there's not big clumps. You can use two if you have to. If you're gonna use a dehydrator, two Teflex sheets is what has worked for me, well for me. And you're just gonna spread it out over the sheet and pretty thin, just like a baking sheet and dehydrate for about four hours. You don't want to go too long with this because the cauliflower does shrink, shrink down a lot and it can get kind of dry. And I like having the consistency so it's, it's pretty chewy and I don't want it to shrink down. And the really small pieces of cauliflower will dehydrate to the point where they're super, super tiny. And this, you could even imagine this as a cookie sheet, but all I gotta do is Put a big pile of this in the middle. And with the, the Teflex sheet, I know that it's just gonna be half. So I just eyeball it. And then I take a spoon and just start to press from the inside to the corners to spread it out. So there it is, just spread out on the dehydrator sheet or if you're using a baking sheet. And that is how you make cauliflower walnut pecan taco meat. Super easy, you can make it raw or cooked. It has a delicious flavor in the oven and makes it smell extremely glorious in the kitchen. And it's still super nutritious. The dehydrator is super easy as well, and, and this is not something I would do overnight because eight hours is way too much, but if you do it in the morning on the weekend and you're in the kitchen, about three to four hours, super simple and super tasty and very versatile to have in the fridge. If you like the video, please like it, please comment, please share, please subscribe to the Corona Kitchen YouTube channel, and thanks for watching. Definitely makes a good amount and it is just really, really great stuff. Highly, highly recommend this.